Hello there, welcome to Jetline Marvel. In this video, we will compare the world's two largest aircraft, the Starter Launch and the Antonov 225, as well as their specifications and operational capabilities. Let's get started. Strata Launch is a multi-stage payload launch vehicle that was supposed to be launched into space at high altitude from beneath the carrier aircraft. The carrier aircraft took to the skies for the first time in April 2019 at the Mojave Air and Spaceport, reaching 15,000 feet and 305 kilometers per hour in a 2 hour and 29 minute flight. In terms of wingspan, this would make it the largest plane ever flown. It will be over 540,000 kilograms in weight, including the fully fueled launch vehicle, and will require a runway of at least 3,700 meter in length. It can carry more than 230,000 kilograms of payload. About the Antonov 225. During the 1980s, the Antonov Design Bureau in the Ukrainian SSR of the Soviet Union designed a strategic airlift cargo aircraft. With a maximum takeoff weight of 640 tons, it is the heaviest aircraft ever built, powered by six turbofan engines. The Antonov 225 was created as a larger version of the Antonov 124, designed to transport Buran class orbiters. In 1988, the only Antonov 225 plane was completed. It was put on hold for eight years after successfully completing its Soviet military missions. After being refurbished and reintroduced, it is now in commercial service with Antonov Airlines, transporting oversized payloads. The Antonov 225 took to the air for the first time on December 21, 1988. The company intended to build two planes, but only one, the Antonov 225, was completed. The second Antonov 225 was built in part for the Soviet space program in the late 1980s. The starter launch has a length of 238 feet, whereas the Antonov 225 has a length of around 275 feet. The starter launch has a wingspan of 385 feet, while the Antonov has a wingspan of 290 feet. The strata launch height is around 50 feet, while the Antonov height is 59 feet. The empty of weight of the starter launch is around 226,799 kilograms, whereas the Antonov's 225 is around 285,000 kilograms. The maximum takeoff weight of the starter launch is around 589,670 kg whereas the Antonov 225 is around 640,000 kg. The Strata launch is propelled by six Pratt and Whitney PW4056 turbofans, each with a thrust of 252.4 kN. The Antonov is powered by six D-18T turbofans, each of which produces 229.5 kN of thrust. The maximum speed of the Strata launch is 850 km per hour, which is also the maximum speed of the Antonov. The radius of the starter launch is 1,900 km, and the radius of the Antonov is 4,000 km with 200 tons. The starter launch service ceiling with payload is 35,000 feet, and the Antonov service ceiling is 36,000 feet. The strata launch will have a range comparable to that of an Airbus A319. To save money, its engines, landing gear, and flight deck were cannibalized from two out-of-service Boeing 747 aircraft. The aircraft's design is inspired by the Eagle face, which connects to the two fuselages and the middle section reserved for the flight vehicle's launching pad. Starter launch is specifically designed for the launch of space flight rockets. The Antonov, on the other hand, 
is designed to transport cargo. Strata Launch is working on Talon A, a reusable, rocket-powered hypersonic flight vehicle capable of speeds ranging from Mach 5 to Mach 7, or up to 8,575 km per hour. The vehicle is set to enter service in 2022. The aircraft is 8.5 meters long, has a wingspan of 3.4 meters, and a launch mass of approximately 2,700 kilograms. Let us know your thoughts about Starter Launch and Antonov 225 aircraft in the comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel.